Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as promised, I'm going to be doing a comparison between my Terrine PM and my Speedy B30. Wow, look at the patina difference. <laughs> like, it's crazy. I think I got this one in 2014, and I got this one about two, three weeks ago now. So yeah, that is quite the difference. Wow, that even like takes out the, the takes the light. Okay, so okay. Let me talk about prices first. The Speedy B30 is, right now it's $14.50 and the Terrine is $15.40. So they're pretty close in price um, and they're pretty close in like size too. The Speedy is 18.1 by 8.2 by 6.6 and the Terrine is 14 by 2, 14.2 by 9.1 by 5.1. Okay, so the Speedy is, or the Terrine is supposedly bigger, like taller wise, but I don't think so. Look, I don't, it's not, the Speedy is clearly bigger. Um, okay, so these two are extremely, extremely similar, but they do have some differences and I think the differences make one better than the other. So that's kind of weird to say, but here we go. Um, the first thing is gonna be the handles. The handles on the Terrine are thinner, surprisingly, than they are on the Speedy. Not by a ton, but you can definitely feel the difference. Um, and then the height of this, I measured it and it's a little over an inch, like longer. So the strap drop is a little bit over an inch. And there you go, looking at them, you can just see how much taller that is. It truly doesn't make that big of a difference when you're carrying it on the crook of your arm. It still feels the same, but I know that some people have said that they feel like the Speedy is a little bit tight. And in that case, this one would this one would be better for you. Um, now going into the other strap. This one has a thinner strap. Let me get the strap out. I still have it in the bag. When I'm not using it, I keep it in a dust bag, fold it up. Oh, it is so much darker. Okay, <clears throat> so this one is thinner than this one. This is the Speedy. Let's put the Speedy behind it. So there you go. I don't know if, let me get closer. See if you can see the difference of them. There you go, I think you can see that there. So the Speedy strap is thicker, but the, um, Terrain strap also only has one size, so, or not one size, but it only has like one actual strap thing. You can only size it by the five holes. You don't have the option like you do on the Speedy B to wear it like short on your shoulder. So the Speedy B has um, three pieces that come with the strap. You can either make them long like this to have a crossbody, or you can take the middle one off and it pretty much cuts it like this to where it's just over your shoulder. I have like a million pictures on my Instagram if you're curious. Um, whenever I post a picture of my Speedy, I usually use the hashtag show me your Speedy. So if you ever want to check them out, just go in there because I think I have worn that thing everywhere and posted pictures of it like so many times. But anyway, <clears throat> the hardware on my Speedy now, I didn't know this was here, but it's got um, wear on it. Like... I think you can see that right there. And it's from this part hitting it. So it's kind of, I don't know if you'd call that tarnished. I'm not sure. I haven't really, I haven't tried to, to like clean it or anything. So I'm not sure. But besides that, the strap has been great. Um, and it's wearing very well. I haven't had any issues with it. Now, the hardware between these two bags is also really different. And I found that really, really interesting. Everybody knows that the Speedy hardware, like what you find on the bag is different than the strap. And that's always been kind of strange. Like the hardware here is more of a dull, like brass color, which I know they're not brass, but let's just call it the brass. And the clasp here is really bright. So you've got two different colors, which doesn't make sense. Like if you're gonna use that hardware on there, why would you use it on the clasp? Strange. Um, whereas this hardware, these two match, so they're both shiny. Doesn't really make sense why they would do it right on one bag 
but then one of their most popular, they don't do it right. So <clears throat> anyway, there is that as far as the hardware, but I think that both of the hardware is good, so you know it doesn't really matter. Um, this one does come with the lock, whereas the Tureen has no way to lock it, but it does you know, have a really nice zipper. Um, okay. Now you've got the pat fact of wearing them crossbody. I think that, that the crossbody and hanging on your shoulder is like the biggest deal. Um, <clears throat> the fact that you can wear the Speedy as a crossbody or a shoulder is makes it more versi versatile, 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 however you say that word, than it does the Tureen. The Tureen, you can pretty much wear it on your shoulder or crossbody, but I found I do throw it on my shoulder a lot, but I don't like it hanging as long. I think that I like how short the Speedy can be better, but this bag feels better. It feels so much better. It's so much more comfortable. Um, when you wear it crossbody, it, because of the shape and how thin this is, this molds to your body. Like it, it sits up against you, whereas you can see how bulky the Speedy is. It doesn't. I mean, it's great and I love this bag. You guys know I've used it so much over the years, but it doesn't sit against you as well. It's more bulky and it sticks out. And although I love the Speedy 30 size, it's my absolute favorite size. When it comes to the way it looks crossbody, the 25 definitely looks better. But regardless, the Speedy will definitely stick out way further than the Tureen will. So if you're looking for something crossbody, but you don't want it to be too bulky, but you need space inside, the terrain is going to be way better because it's got so much space, but it doesn't it doesn't look so large on your frame. Um, now, with the interior of these, this one's still full because I haven't used it since we moved here, and so it's still packed. But this is I, this is packed full. But as you can see, um, I've got my Smorg organizer in there because I use that to keep the shape. But it's full, so. If you don't have an organizer inside these, it's one giant pit. You get one pocket, but besides that, you have a giant pit. So if you need anything, you're really just looking in this black hole. Um, with it being a size 30, it's not too bad to open it up because the zipper opening is really is a really nice size. If you did go with the 25, it's really, really small, and it's even harder to find stuff. It may be smaller, but it's harder to find stuff because you can't really get it open. But I have found whenever I've used this, because I don't use it with an organizer, I do have a hard time finding things. Now with the terrain, the opening, you get, have one zipper, so it's a lot easier to, to get it open. And you, well, you can't really tell because of the light, but um, it's easy to see everything in here. And you have more pockets. You've got the big pocket on the front, and then on the back, you have two flat pockets. So. It's so much easier to organize this and to see it, to see everything you need way, like it's way easier than it is on the Speedy. Um, I don't know, I really, really, really like the layout of this. Um, you all know that I love the Speedy, but um, functionality wise, I have to say that the Tureen is way better. And sadly enough, I think that they are gonna discontinue it. Um, I've been told by some people they are, some people that they aren't, but the fact that they just came out with the Rivoli today, if you haven't seen it, go look at it. I don't like it. I mean, I like it, but there are things that I, that I don't like about it. Like, um, it's, it's pretty much a mix between the Tavoli and the Tureen. It has the same um, pleats in it. I don't know, you can tell when you look at it, it's like the same thing, but different. Um, they took this and they moved it down. So it kind of looks like a weird floating Vaquetta tab. And they put a lock underneath it that it has no purpose whatsoever. And I just don't like it. Um, but besides that, it has different handles. I think they're, I actually think they're flat. But they look like they're about the same size. And it still has the crossbody. So, oh, and it doesn't have this long thing. It's got a little, it's got a short one. So it's got really nice features, but got some very odd features to it like that don't really make sense like it was really nice having this up top because it you know it's really it's right next to the zipper but they just kind of lowered it and just pushed it there so I don't know I might want to go check it out but because it looks so much like this I think that they're about to discontinue this um it's available on the website right now but I've noticed that when I look recently it, it goes to call for availability a lot 
But as we all know, that doesn't always mean anything. That's what they kept doing with the Speedy and they kept doing with the Mini Pochette, but they're still here. So I don't want to say that it is just discontinued, but it could be. Um, I just looked a few minutes ago and the Speedy B still is not available to purchase, but you know it's not going anywhere. But look, look how beautiful it is though. If you were to take off the crossbody strap or the strap, whatever, and just use it as a classic, it is still so beautiful. I just love the look of the Speedy 30. I just think it's the most beautiful handbag ever. Just the way that they sit, the way that they slouch. <sighs> love it. Okay, so really I feel like if you're comparing these two, I'm gonna show you what can fit inside of them, but if you're comparing them, I have to honestly say, if you are gonna use it as a crossbody, I would get the Tureen, like hands down. I took this one when we went to Utah the other year and it's the only one that I took and we were there for a week and it hurt. It hurt me so bad. These things at the top, having these hurt my clavicle, like it hurt bad. And I don't know if it's because the strap is so thick that it hurt, but it just is not comfortable. It's not comfortable. But this, with it just being a thinner strap and you have your clasp way far down at the bottom, I don't know, I found it doesn't hurt. And I've put a lot of stuff in it and it just, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't dig in as bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I think I don't care for this one crossbody. Um, when I shorten it and I wear it on my shoulder, whenever I use my Speedy B, the main time I use it is either crook of my arm or I wear it on my shoulder and I found that I really like it on my shoulder. So, gosh, if you're between the two, that's, that's what I keep saying, if you're between the two, it just depends on what you want to do with it. If you want to wear it on your shoulder, um, I would go with the Speedy B just because it has the option to be shorter and I really feel it's comfort very comfortable short. But if you like bags to hang long and you want it to hang long on your shoulder and you want it to be a crossbody and crook of your arm, definitely go with the tree because it's way more comfortable and I feel like you'll get more wear out of it. I know it's hard to explain because I didn't understand until I even owned it how amazing this bag is, but I really, really like it. I, I can't recommend it anymore. Um, but I'm going to turn down the camera and I'm going to show you what fits inside them. Um, someone recommended or requested that I show a full-size wallet inside my tureen. So I will show a full-size wallet, I will show my um, um, desk agenda, and then someone else asked for me to show my iPad. It's in a case, but I'll show it anyway. Um, I will show you some that fits in my Speedy B, but I've done so many what's in my bags that you might just want to go check out those because for the longest time this is what I carried. I think I've done like a million what's my bags of this one. So, but let me turn it down and I will show you guys what fits inside them. Okay, let's start with my terrine because it's already full because I've been using this nonstop. So, here we go. This is what it looks like. It's got the one strap and I've got it on the shortest setting. Just giving you kind of a closer look. Oh yeah, the bottom looks like this. Okay, so inside here... <laughs> It's a little bit messy. I don't have anything over here right now. I kind of just throw my phone on that side normally, but it's not in there right now. Um, so I've got a pen over here that I just keep like stuck on there like that. Got gum, got a card for somebody, I don't even know. Got another thing for my camera, another battery. Let's see, I've got a receipt down there. See, in the middle, I've got my mini pochette, which is packed. Okay, wallet. I've got my Victorine wallet. My glasses. My keys, which, yes, I'm still using this awesome keychain. I still love it. I've got, oops, um, grocery list. Grocery money. Hand sanitizer. Um... Floss, lotion, Crabtree Nevelin. Let's see, we've got some Kleenexes, a receipt, a hair dealy, and something got it dirty in there, as you can see. No idea what that is. Probably a granola bar that I put in there for the girls. But that's what I had in there. Okay, so to show you, 
Here is my iPad, and this is an iPad mini. This goes in there with absolutely no problem. Um, this is my desk agenda. These are enormous. That, look, hold on, let me move this. I don't want to accidentally mess up the agenda stuff in there. That does go in there, for the person that asked, but you have to really think. Um, if you're going to carry that, you cannot carry much else with you. I mean, it closes, but you can't. <laughs> you really can't carry much else in there. Um, and that compared to the size of the mini. So there you go, just for size reference. Okay, a full size wallet that's in there with no problem. Let's pretend you want to use a regular size pochette accessoire. That fits in there. And you know, um, a cosmetic PM pouch fits in there. So all this stuff fits in there. Put your mini pochette, put some hand sanitizer. So, it can hold quite a bit. Um, let's see, let's go for, let's also throw in another wallet just for fun. So, there you go, and you still have room on the sides. And now that's excessive, I mean, that's quite a bit of stuff. But, it still closes. Let me go ahead and show you the Speedy. Okay, here is the Speedy B, but before we start, I want to show you the strap. This is my Speedy B strap. And I want to show you the size difference up close. Here it is next to my um, terrain strap. And let me go to a single spot. There you go. You can tell the difference how much bigger the speedy strap is. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but when it's on top of you, it feels so much different whenever you're wearing it. So there you go. Just set that aside. Okay, so in case you haven't seen a Speedy B, this is what it looks like. You just connect the um, straps on the side. And I do keep mine like stored with a smart organizer and I keep it nice and stuffed, but um, I just took it all out. I did get mine hot stamped there, and I always keep this luggage tag on it. So this is what mine always looks like. And they have a strip on each side of the Keta, because it's supposed to look like the key ball. So, oh, and it's just perfect. Like, look at how perfectly lined up they are. I think they're just perfect. Anyway, it has two zippers, and I do store it like this with it on the side. Whenever I use it, though, I rarely ever close it up. And there we go. That's what it looks like. It's got the one pocket right here. Um, this is the old version. Like I said, I got this in 2014, so it still has um, no zipper pocket. This pocket is actually smaller than the new size. The new size is slightly bigger, and it doesn't have a zipper. I don't know if I already said that, but the inside is also lined on mine. The new ones, it's just the canvas, and you do have a D-ring. Um, you also, I forgot to mention, you have a D-ring on this too. So, okay, so in here I'm going to do the same things. Here we have the desk agenda, and ugh, I don't know that I would do that. It fits standing up. It fits on the bottom. If you wanted to carry it around and use it like a base shaper, um, it definitely fits in there perfect with no problem. The only thing I would worry about is a taking it in and out. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to do that. Because you don't want to put this in and out and scratch or mess up the glazing on your agenda. So I'm not going to do that one again, but it does fit. Here is the um, iPad mini. It goes in there with no problem. So I'm just going to go and put the other stuff in there. Um, let's see, let's do it with cosmetic pouch. The Pachette accessoire. Full size wallet, and this is the Sarah wallet. So, the mini Pachette. Victorine wallet and as you can already see oh and I had a hand sanitizer there so as you can already see this is the same amount of stuff that I had in my terrine but you have way more room so there's still a ton of room to put more stuff but here's this was my desk agenda nope not my desk agenda this is my pocket agenda but you know I'm just throwing that in there so it definitely holds a ton <laughs> it's pretty heavy but, you know, you could fill it up with more. It's a great travel bag. Like I said, I've traveled with it before. And you can just carry so much inside of it. Um, I know people say it's got the lock for safety, but I've never once known anybody that locked their bag. So, but yeah, that is what fits inside of there. I would say that the zipper on these are the same as far as, like, 
super easy to open and close. And this one has the, um, like the brass, I know they're not brass, I don't know, I keep saying that, the gold, gold toned um, zipper pull, which has the LV on both sides. And then the Tureen has this Vaquetta pull. And it looks like it's two pieces, so it's like one that went across, not really two pieces, so one that went across and then they um, stuck it together. So I kind of wonder if over time, if that's gonna come apart, but yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, and opens really easy. There you go. Super, super easy. Um, and this one, people, well, people always say it depends on where they're made. They're always like, well, where'd you have it made? It, it does not matter. You Like, you have to realize it does not matter where it's made. You're going to either have issues or you're not going to have issues no matter where it's from. This one was made in France and my Speedy was made in the USA. And I got it in 2014. You guys know I've used it so much and it has zero issues. So yeah, I don't think that they matter where they're made, but these were both made in two different spots and I feel like my terrine is going to hold up pretty well. Um, I got asked if I think that the pleats will come out on this cause they kind of do in the Tivoli when they get older. Um, but I honestly don't think so. The way that these are sewn, like it's got this fold here and it, it's sewn in. I don't think that it really can come out. I can't see a way that it would, but yeah, the, the Tivoli is different. The way that those are more so folded rather than they're not really sewn in like this. So I don't see there being a problem. Um, I can tell how these would kind of flip out when you use it, just when you have a crossbody and it's got a lot of stuff in it. Um, they tend to poke out like this. So I guess over time it could flip out, but I don't know, that one's going down, so. We'll see. Um, whenever I'm not using it though, I plan on storing it like I store all my other bags. Um, my Classic Speedy 30 and my Aena and stuff like that, They and my Speedy 25, they have the tabs on the side and none of mine have ever curled because whenever I put it in the dust bag, I put it in and I put the sides down before I flap, flap the thing over it or before I draw a string. So I make sure that the sides are down whenever I'm storing it and I think that that will help keep it from from curling up. I don't know. I don't think that I'd really care if it curled up. I don't think that it would really bother me. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be an issue or not, but I mean, it's not really an issue. I just don't know if it's going to happen or not. Ugh, totally love it. Well, there you go. Um, as you can see, they both hold quite a bit. The Speedy B definitely holds more, but you really have to think if you're gonna wear it on your shoulder, if you're gonna wear it crossbody, the more you put in the speaky, speaky, the more you put in the speedy, the bulkier it's gonna be. I just feel like you don't have that same issue with the terrine, but you know, that's just my opinion. Um, if you do have any other questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.